I appreciate the show. I'm just giving my lens a bit of a wipe here on account of the fact that there's a rather spectacular storm coming in now. So we're going to have a look at the storm for a while. Then we're going to move on to Arethusa and see what else we can find. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to carry on cleaning my lens, which seems to be dirty on the inside, David. That's not good, is it? No, it's not good. Let me take off this cover and try and figure out what's going on because I don't want to take rubbish pictures, David. I want to take good pictures. Good. Now, this storm apparently has hit Acorn Hook. Acorn Hook is a dubious settlement not too far from where we are now sitting, about ooh, how many miles? Shall we say, as the crow flies, about 50 miles or so? Probably not even that much, maybe 20 miles. And clearly there is a bit of a deluge going on there. That's basically where the rain is falling. And I'm hoping against hope it's not going to arrive here, simply because, well, you know, I know it's an African blessing and all that, but I just don't wish to be driving about in the rain today. I find it uh, irksome, to say the least. Um, I think my cloth is dirty, David. Have you got a lens cleaning solution with you? Please, may I borrow it? Thank you so much. Um, anyway, then we're going to go to Arethusa and see if we've got signal there. There have been some running repairs done by Drone Commander Connor Teagues, who uh, was droning around this afternoon, this morning, actually. Thank you so much, David. Shall I put it on the cloth or on the lens? On the cloth. And um, he had his first experience of a wild dog hunt. Now, I know many of you missed that this morning. That is not your fault. It is ours. But there are wild dogs about at the moment, and so we're hoping that they might pop out again this afternoon, which would be rather special for me and for you and the entire human race. I was quoting Michael Jackson there, of course, from Heal the World. Did you notice that, David? The late Michael Jackson. Thank you, Rebecca. It was beautiful, yes. David, I can't say I think that that lens solution has helped. In fact, you'd have to work it. Elbow grease. I'm working it, David. There we go. Hmm, I see what you mean, yes. Funny how that works. God, excellent. Right, well, there are two minutes left of this waffling that you're experiencing now. I do apologize for it, but you know we have to do the pre-show before the show so that uh, you can click subscribe and so that you know when we're live. Of course, the logic of this has escaped the powers that be um, because, you know, you wouldn't be here unless you knew that we were live, would you? but I think it's for the future. We're planning for the future, everybody. It is, of course, the last drive of the year 2016. Now I've dirtied it again. Basically, you need a laboratory to be able to do this. <sighs> this is most frustrating, David. I might have to do it again. Uh, anyway, that is the story this afternoon. I think that thing might hit us, and I'm a bit worried about it. And so we'll have to rush home and put our lid on, won't we, David? Yes. The 60 seconds of this uh, interminable pre-show, everybody, and I mean interminable for you. I don't mind it, actually. It is free license for me to behave like a clown. Nobody tends to give us much feedback on the pre-show. Do that, David. No, they don't. I also seem to have been... Uh, well, poor old David seems to have been landed with me almost endlessly for the last little while. Sorry about that, David. I will attempt to be nice to you this afternoon. Right, I think we have had some action on this lens now. And in 30 seconds we'll hand you over to... Who's starting the show, Rebecca? Brent Leo Smith, who I believe is on the hunt for Corolla, the Great Queen. Ten seconds. Goodbye, everyone.